Welcome to the Avenza Map Publisher Getting Started video series. This video will help you familiarize yourself with Map Publisher and set up your Illustrator environment for these tutorials. So the first thing you're going to want to do is either create or open an existing file. So files in Adobe Illustrator are AI files and that stands for Adobe Illustrator Artwork file. You can create a new file here. You can open an existing file. But what I'm going to do for the purposes of this video is I'm going to open up a file that I've already created from the recent files list. This is the main Illustrator workspace. First things first, I'm going to show you how to access the preferences for both Illustrator and Map Publisher. So the Illustrator preferences can be found at the very bottom right here. What I like to do is I go to user interface and the first thing I do is I change it to dark mode because that's my favorite. Back into the edit menu and you can find the map publisher preferences. There are many different settings that you can configure for map publisher. For example, in the map info panel section, you can change the display format for your latitude and longitude coordinates. The default is decimal degrees, so I'm just going to leave it. For the other settings as well, I'm just going to leave it as the default because that's all we need to worry about right now. So the key menu for the general setup of Illustrator and Map Publisher is the Window menu. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Window, Workspace, and then I'm going to change that to Essentials Classic. I'm going to go back into the Window menu now. And here you can find the Map Publisher section, which has all the different panels that you can open related to Map Publisher. What I'm going to choose is the Map Toolbar. This is the main toolbar for Map Publisher. It's definitely the most important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dock it here at the top of my workspace. Next, I'm going to open up the Map Views, Map Themes, as well as the Map Selections. And so I'm going to take these and dock them in the right sidebar because I use these ones a lot, so it's good to have them there. So since we've enabled Essentials Classic, this toolbar off to the side here is already in two columns, but if by chance you've chosen one that is in a single column, sometimes the Map Publisher tools can get stuck at the bottom or even below. So if you can't see them, I like to have it into two columns. It just makes it easier for me to find what I'm looking for. If you can't see the Map Publisher tools on this toolbar right here, you can go to Window, Toolbars, and click Advanced, and they should show up in the side. Finally, I like to move my Layers panel from down here and drag it up into the right panel over here, just so it's easier to see my layers while I'm working on my map. So the Map Publisher toolbar has eight sections. They're later in a general order that you might follow when you're creating a map. So the import export section is for importing spatial data to your map and exporting your maps after you have created them. The property section contains different panels that open things like your map settings and attribute table. The data creation section has tools that will help you add data to your map, such as point, line, and area features, as well as other tools like the georeferencer. The geoprocessing section contains tools that allow you to manipulate your data using various techniques. The organization section has tools that select, merge, and split the layers of your map. The thematic tools allow you to style your map. The labels section contains a variety of tools you can use to label your map, including the Avenza Label Pro add-on. Finally, the layout tools make it easy to add the finishing touches to your map, such as grids, scale bars, and north arrows. You can customize the map toolbar using this button right on the right side here, and you can enable and disable all the different sections if you're not using them. In the next video, I will cover some of the basic knowledge that a map publisher user should have in order to utilize the software to efficiently create their maps.